Hey everyone, so we are outside, exactly where this kid likes to be. This is a Mommy Monday. I am just going to talk about this little guy's um, three month update. Look at him, he's already so big. You're so big. He's starting to roll over, but I've never seen it. Two of the times when he has rolled over, it's been like at nighttime. And I'll look at the monitor and be like, oh, he rolled over. Oh, man. And then, like, I've been trying to get him to roll over ever since the first time, but he just won't do it. I know he can because I've seen him. I've seen him on his back when I put him on his tummy. So, I know he can. He just won't do it for me. <laughs> he is super strong. He loves to stand up. And I know some people say you shouldn't have, um, you shouldn't let your child stand. But we did talk to our doctor, and our doctor said that, um, there's no risk of your child being bow-legged and stuff like that. So that's great news because this guy loves to stand. <laughs> Come over here, pumpkin. Ruling a lot more, like, all the time. He's laughing. He's, like, smiling a lot more. Um, I wouldn't say he has, like, a full-on laugh, like, ha, 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 ha. Nothing like that. <laughs> but he'll giggle and stuff here and there. Um, he does cool here and there. Um, he started to play with toys so he will um, like hit balls that are hanging and grab for things now and he loves playing in his bouncer. He loves looking at his little bird and his little bouncer. I'm sure you guys have seen. He has amazing neck support. I mean I'm not holding his neck at all right now and he is just he's fine. Tummy time is not as bad as it used to be. He, a lot of times he'll lay there and he'll pull himself all the way up to the point where his front of his chest and his head are all the way off the ground, which is amazing. He, used, he never did that before. I wouldn't say he enjoys tummy time, but he tolerates it. He'll actually try to like move around and stuff, you know, kick his legs out. He's not just instantly crying like he used to before. He loves to be moving around constantly like in baby boot camp if I stop for even like two minutes he starts just bawling he's like no 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 and then the second we get moving again he's fine so for his sleeping updates he has slept a couple nights um straight with like eight hours or six six to eight hours seven hours you know here and there um so he has been a much better sleeper but then he also has his nights where he'll wake up every three to four hours still so it all kind of depends we have not switched to cloth diapers yet and i still do want to we just haven't with the move and all that kind of fun stuff we've just been so busy our finances are kind of going in other places so we haven't yet but we do plan on it okay i'm back so Bam got a little fussy, so I decided to go put him down um, in his crib, and he's knocked out. A couple of the things I want to go over with you guys, I'm not, I don't think I went over them a little bit ago, um, but he is currently wearing um, three-month-old clothes, which is perfect where he's supposed to be. But he did start wearing them when he was two months old, so you know he is he's growing pretty fast. So I'm I predict that he will be in his like six month clothes um, really really soon here um, and then another thing is he has been like grabbing everything everything like my hair his toys everything he's he has like a death grip on everything anything he wants he grabs it and holds on to it which is so cute and then um, he just discovered his hands which is adorable like sometimes I'll just catch him like looking at his hands like Oh, like what are these and he'll like move them around and just look at them it's just so cute so that's really really cool um let me think he's also been sucking on like anything and everything like I'll have my hand by his mouth and he'll start sucking on it or um, if he's like on my shoulder he'll start sucking on my shoulder or if he's like in his bouncer he'll start sucking on the edge of his bouncer like he'll just suck on anything he can so um, I'm actually going to bring out his teething toys and just let him suck on those and play with those and stuff just so he has something new to play with and um, I don't think he shouldn't be teething now but I think he's just going through a sucking phase so just something to suck on um, probably stick some in the fridge and get that 
cool cold sensation see how he likes that i bet you he'd love it besides that he's been really really observant like he just likes to look around and explore like he loves being outside he loves just just exploring he's he is not a kid that likes to stay inside and i hope that never changes because i do not want him you know inside cooped up watching TV and playing on his electronics like no I want you outside and playing and being active so already a great start he is like the biggest scaredy cat ever he he gets scared like that like you'll make like a noise all the way in the kitchen and he'll be in the living room and he'll be like what was that <laughs> or he'll just start like bawling if I sneeze and I'm like right next to him and he wasn't expecting it, I'll just start bawling and bawling. It's like, it's okay. <laughs> but besides that, um, we're still nursing, we're still breastfeeding and it's going great. He's progressing just fine. Last time when we talked to the doctor, they said he's, he's growing at a great rate. He's such a big, chunky little kid. So that's great. I'm very, very happy about that. If there's anything that I missed, anything you guys would like to know, just ask me, let me know. I'll definitely be here to answer any questions you guys have. So if you guys could, please, please, please let me know what I should do for my next Mommy Monday. It will be on, on Monday, of course. Why was I trying to think, like, when will it be? It'll be next Monday. Um, so just leave in the comments below what I should do. You know, give me some ideas. What would you guys like to know about, hear about, um, get my opinion about. Obviously, I'm not... I'm not a pro at this whole mommy thing because I'm brand new to it, but I can definitely give you guys tips on things I've learned in my journey being a mom. Um, so just let me know. Leave some comments below. Please, please, please give me some suggestions because I don't know what to do. Ah.